Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What is this? A Muslim woman begging for money in front of a Walmart? Not a Muslim. I'm sure that you have seen these people in front of your masajid every single Friday and they wear hijabs and they have little children with them. Uh, sometimes even their husbands are with them and they have some uh, sad story. But these are not Muslims. They are actually from Romania and they are also known as gypsies. You see, about three weeks ago, I went to my uh, masjid here in Oklahoma City and I actually got into it with uh, a whole family of them and I just had a conversation with them and I said, why do you dress the way that you dress? She had on an abaya and a hijab and I just asked her to recite Fatiha. You know they didn't know Fatiha because they're Christians. Now, if you are truly in need, you know, may God help you. You know, we don't like to see as Muslims anybody go hungry or not have a place to live. But the thing that upsets me is that they dress like Muslims. And to the Western public, we are already misunderstood. And on top of that, now they look at us like we're beggars. And the chances are, when you go to Juma today, you will see one of them. But here is my complaint. You're begging for money in a Christian church. So why do you dress like Muslims? Why are you playing on the kindness of the Muslim people? Muslim people, why are you giving money to these people? Trust me, there are congregants inside of the masajid that although you don't know it, um, they struggle with money, with food to feed their whole families. Um, I think in my opinion, they are way more deserving than these people that are begging for money outside of the masajid. And to the Roma people, you are making us look bad. You are making us look as if we do this for a living, that we are beggars and we are not. In America, Muslims are amongst the highest earners and highest educated. We are not beggars and we work very hard. I mean, you're begging for money in a Christian country. Why do you have to wear hijabs? Why do you have to wear abaya? Just wear a cross around your neck and go ask for money. Go to the churches. There's plenty of places and services where you can get help. I guess I should throw some context to this whole video. So in this video, a couple follows this family and discovers that uh, these people are throwing away all of the food and soap and clothing and stuff like that, that the people are giving them out of the kindness of their hearts. You see, they're claiming to be homeless and in need and the children need this and that, uh, but they only want the money. There's so many causes that you could be giving to brothers and sisters. And these people are not amongst them. Hope everybody has a good Juma. Assalamu alaikum.